guys so today I'm gonna be explaining about what I learned at my eye appointment yesterday um those of you well, most of you may know but some of you may not so I'm gonna kind of give a little backstory um I want to say about a week ago I went to the doctor for having headaches daily pretty much constant, whether it was a dull headache or a full blown like migraine or whatever. Um, and it was starting to get concerning cause it was going on like a week and a half to two weeks with just constant. So I went to the doctor and he said it could be like eye strain, eye related, even though he did give me a medicine to try to break the cycle. Um, so he wanted to send me to an eye doctor. So that's what I did yesterday was my eye doctor appointment. They ran tons of tests. I was there for like, my husband <laughs> drove me and he's like, are you not done yet? Cause I was literally at the office for over an hour. Um, so, all right, let's start at the beginning. So, when I went into my appointment, she asked me some questions about my headaches and about my history and stuff like that. So I did tell her that my headaches do start like around here and wrap around. And then sometimes they're just, they wrap all the way around and it's a full blown migraine. So she was asking me about my headaches, about if I had any blurry vision, vision loss, any of that. Um, I don't have blurry vision. I don't have, um, vision loss. I just have headaches and sometimes I get very nauseous from them. And you know, if it gets so bad, sometimes I do throw up. Um, but that's about as far as it goes. And I made sure to tell her that then we did the eye test. So, um, she did my right eye first, which I passed on my right eye. I was able to read all the lines then when we got to my left eye, um, I struggled with the third row. Um, I could only read one letter out of that entire row and I didn't even try on the other letters. I was like, I can't see a thing. I said, I'm pretty sure that E is the second to last letter and that's all I can see. Then she put these drops in my eyes and she called them numbing drops. So I'm not exactly sure what they do. I don't know if they dilate your eyes or it was to do some kind of test. Don't quote me because I have no idea. Um, but it made my eyes feel really heavy. My like my eyelids got really heavy. My eyes just felt heavy in general. And then it brought on a headache. So I started getting a headache pretty much right off the bat because the eye drops were given right after just the, the vision test. So that kind of sucked. Um, then she did some other tests where I had to like put my chin on this machine and, um, I had to keep my eye open and she had to scan my eyes. Um, and then I moved to another room where I did some other tests where I had to pretty much same kind of machine put my head in. But this time there was a picture of like a hot air balloon that started out clear and then got blurry. Don't know what that was for. Then I got taken back to a waiting room where I had to wait for an actual like eye exam room. So um, I went back to the eye exam room. The nurse um, gave me some more numbing drops just after the first ones wore off and I was like, ugh. but this time they were like orange. They had like, um, she put them on this like strip of paper that was like orange and put them in. So yeah, she was like, when you wipe it off with the tissue, you're going to see orange. And obviously I did. So that was for another test. So the doctor came in and he gave me this exam where I had to put my chin on this thing and then um he shined all these lights into my eyes and when I tell you my head I was already I already had a headache but my head my headache went from here to like here 
in seconds of the lights just flashing in my eyes. So that was fun. <laughs> but he started saying all of these things to the nurse about narrow this, narrow that, fluids here, fluids there. And I'm like, what is going on? So by the time that was all said and done, we sat and we had a chat. My vision um, is 25-20, so it's not awful, but I am farsighted. And I am going to need glasses. So that I kind of was expecting, but not what's coming next. Okay, so then he goes on, and I did... I looked up basically an article about it last night so that I had notes because it was a lot of information that he gave me pretty much like all at once and it was a lot to take in and to understand. So I did not want to be, um, wrong about things when I explain it to you guys. So, um, I'm just waiting for my messenger to load right now so I can bring up the pages. All right, so I have it all up. So he called it narrow angles is what I have. And I was like, what the heck is that? He said it was something I was born with, but it gets worse with age. So now here I am and that explains why I've been getting my headaches Re most recently. So I've had it pretty much all my life, but it didn't pose as an extreme problem until just recently. So what it is, is it says, um, as you age, the lens of your eye grows larger, decreasing the space between the iris and the cornea. So I had narrow angles to begin with. And as I'm aging, um, it's getting even smaller. So there's fluid constantly flowing through your eyes. So now I have an article that I looked up, which says the eyeball is continually producing and draining fluid called aqueous humor. The aqueous humor is produced by cells that lie behind the iris or the colored part of the eye. This fluid then circulates through the pupil into the front of the eye and drains out of the eye through a complex circular drainage structure in the angle, that is, the angle formed between the iris and the cornea, the clear front covering the eye. So um, this is between my iris and the cornea and the clear lens over my eye. So what's happening is the fluid is not draining properly because my angles are so narrow, the fluid's getting trapped, um, like some of it's getting trapped, and that's what causes the pain. So what's happening is there is all this pressure in my eyes, and that's why it starts pretty much here, and then travels the headaches. So it's really a really bad pressure eye ache that just travels through my head. So it says in some eyes, this angle is more acute than usual and it is called narrow angle. So that is what I have. Eyes with narrow angle angles are at risk of developing angle closure, which we're trying to avoid because angle closure in which excess access to the drain is closed off completely and fluid that is being produced in the eye is trapped and cannot, cannot escape the eye, leading to a sudden increase in eye pressure to dangerous levels, sometimes leading to permanent vision loss in a short amount of time. So what he wants to avoid is that happening because when the fluid is trapped and cannot escape, it kind of cuts off from the optic nerve which then, boom, my sight's gone forever. And we're trying to avoid that because I do not want to go blind. So this next part kind of makes sense for me because I am farsighted. So it's basically who is at risk. Most patients who have narrow angles are 
hyperop hyperopic or farsighted. So I am farsighted. Typically these are individuals who have never needed glasses to see clearly. And obviously I have never needed glasses to see clearly with the exception of reading glasses after the age of 40 or so. I'm 35, I've never had glasses. Um, I did in second grade, but my, my eye tests got messed up or whatever. So I've had pretty much 2020 vision my whole life, which another explanation to that, he said my vision is getting worse over time because I pretty much have always been farsighted, but my lens has been scrunching to um, focus on things. And as I age, the scrunching gets harder to do and my vision just starts decreasing a little bit. And that's what's happening in this eye and that's why um, this eye is worse than this eye. So, hyperopic eyes tend to be shorter and smaller than the average eye. So everything is condensed in the eye, including the angle. He basically explained that I was born with this. I was born with smaller eyes, smaller, um, narrower angles. Besides hyperopic patients, elderly patients who have not had cataract surgery are also at risk. That does not apply to me. But yes, okay. Some of the symptoms, and this is what I, some of these is what I have been experiencing and why I decided to get my eyes checked. Typically narrow angles are asymptomatic. That is, they don't cause any noticeable problem to the patient. My whole life I've been asymptomatic up until now. On the other hand, angle closure, if it develops, often leads to dramatic symptoms, an unbearable pressure-like headache, blurry vision, nausea, vomiting, redness, extreme eye pain. Occasionally, with patients with narrow angles, suffer from intermittent episodes of angle closure attacks, and these are usually associated with a mild or moderate headache in dark light conditions, blurring of the vision for a few hours, redness, and sometimes nausea and vomiting. So, mine's not that extreme yet, um, but I have had the unbearable pressure, the headaches, all of that, and that's why I went to the eye doctor, and he said that um, it's very good that I did, because if it had gotten worse, I would have basically gone blind. So, we are attacking the problem now, and there will be a solution. So, um, the solutions available, and the first one is what I'm going to be doing. So, there are several options for narrow angles, and your doctor will review which option is the best depending on the overall health of your eyes. So um, the first treatment was the best for me. So in general, treatment involves either laser surgery or cataract surgery. I'm having laser surgery. So I have to get laser eye surgery. Um, laser surgery typically involves making an iridotomy, which is a small hole in the iris that causes the angle to become less acute and to open further. So. Let me explain. So on February 1st, I'm going to get laser eye surgery on one eye. And then on February 8th, I'm going to be getting laser eye surgery on the other eye. So he's doing one eye at a time because it does make your vision blurry for about 24 hours. So he doesn't want both my eyes being blurry. He wants me to still be able to see. So um, we're doing one at the beginning of the month and then the next a week later and um so basically i'm gonna come in and he said it's pretty much a 10 second procedure so he said it's basically when i had my head on that thing and he was doing the flashing lights he said basically it's the same exact thing but instead of the lights there'll be a laser so um like the article said, he's just going to make a small like cut, a small hole, so that my um my angles are bigger and that the wa the fluids flow through it properly instead of um building up in my eye. He said it's a short and painless procedure. I'll be able to go home the same day. He said, I will be able to drive home, even though I'm not going to drive myself. I'm going to have my husband drive me. But um, 
yeah, so, and it's painless. So I'm kind of nervous, but I'm kind of not because it's such a small procedure. Um, what's going to make me more nervous is the waiting. So, but he said it'll pretty much be like an instant relief. All the fluids will drain out and all the pressure will come out and it should cure my eye pain and my headaches. So I'm so happy that there was a problem found and a solution found and it's a quick solution. Now, if this had been months later, things could have gone way differently and I could have gone blind. So I'm so happy that I went when I did because he said right now it's draining, but not properly. There's no, it's, it hasn't closed. So I'm lucky in that sense. Like it's, it has not gone like the optic nerve is still fine and all that. So that is such a relief. Um, but I'm so happy to be getting relief and pretty much instant relief when it happens. The only thing I'm kind of bummed about is that he couldn't do it that day. Um, because now I have to go through a week and a half of pain. So yesterday, like I said, I got this awful pressure and awful headache from all the, like all the testing that was done. And I pretty much felt awful the entire evening and night until I went to bed. I mean, it let up a little bit at some points, but even now after sleeping and waking up, I'm still feeling that pressure and it sucks. And I'm really, and this eye is worse than this eye. And I'm really hoping that, um, it doesn't feel like this up until February 1st, because I'm going to be struggling if it is. This, this is not comfortable. It's not a good feeling. Um, but I am happy that I am on the road to recovery. I have steps in place. I have appointments. They're all scheduled. So he also said about the glasses, he's going to wait until after my laser eye surgery to do the glasses because it could affect my vision slightly. And he wants to make sure that the glasses are done like perfectly and that they, no adjustments need to be made afterwards. He said it's kind of pointless to do the eyes, the eyeglasses now and then have to adjust them two weeks later. So um, we are waiting on the glasses until after that. So I will have glasses um, for my farsightedness, but this surgery should cure my headaches. He said it's got like a 98% success rate. So I'm super hopeful. It's a super quick and painless procedure and I'm just, I'm just ready to get it done. I'm ready. <laughs> so I know that was a lot of information just thrown out at you. It was a lot of information thrown out at me too. The eye doctor appointment did not go anywhere near where, what I expected. I didn't even know that this was even an issue. Like I didn't even know about this thing, um, that it was even a thing. <laughs> so when he's explaining all this to me, I'm like, what? <laughs> but um, he did ask me if I had any questions and he, he explained it pretty well. Like he basically said all of those things I told you, but for like the 20 minutes that I ta actually talked to the doctor, like it's a lot of information thrown at you and things get confusing. And I did explain it to like friends and family, but I obviously was like not knowing some of the technical terms for it. Um, so I did want to look it up and actually read it off to you guys so that you know exactly what it is and that I'm explaining it correctly. But yeah, so that was my appointment yesterday. It was very informative, but very painful but 100% worth it because I don't want to lose my sight. So I'm really glad that I listened to my body and decided to go to the doctor about my headaches or I would have never, I would have never like come to this conclusion. 
and I would have, my vision would have probably gone blurry and dark and I'd be like, what is going on? And then I'd end up in the ER and possibly with an even bigger issue. So, um, yeah, I'm very grateful. I decided to listen to my body. Now, going forward up until the laser eye treatment, I am going to try to film my videos as best as possible, but there might be days where I'm just not feeling up to it. And I know you guys will understand because obviously my health comes first, but I do want to keep getting my videos out to you guys, but it may be painful for the next week and a half up until my procedure. But, um, don't worry if there aren't some videos on some days after this is all said and done, I will be right back on schedule. So don't worry about that. Um, and I will be kind of vlogging and filming updates after I get my procedure. I kind of want to film the same day to just let you know how it went, how I'm feeling, um, and all that. And then my recovery, obviously, to let you know um, how things are feeling, how I'm doing, and stuff like that. So definitely stay tuned for update videos. Um, like I said, February 1st is my first laser eye treatment and then February 8th will be the second and then glasses and then I'm done. So hopefully by mid, by mid February, um, everything will be over <laughs> and then all I'll have to do is annual eye visits to, um, adjust my glasses. But that is everything for today. Um, I hope you all learned something from this video because I sure did. But yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye!